In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can enable the activities feature on Tapestry and also how you can edit the permissions for it. To do this, you will need to be logged in as a manager on the browser version of Tapestry. Also, activities is enabled by default, but if you have disabled it and you want to enable it again, you just need to click on your name in the top right hand corner and select control panel from the drop down. From there, you just need to click on the features option that's on the left hand menu. Here at the top, you'll see the activities feature. If it's not enabled, then that will show up in red and it will say enable. And you just need to click that button to turn it on. Once you do that, you'll see that activities then turns green and there's a tick by it. Also, if you look up to the top, you'll see activities is now on your menu. After you do this, you'll see that there are two buttons for relative permissions and self permissions. Now, you can also access these at any point if you're not on the features page, just by clicking on the user permissions option again from the left hand menu. I'm just going to click on the staff permissions to get started. So this will take you straight into the activity section for the staff permissions. If I just scroll up, you can see at the top here that you've got the two tabs for staff and relatives, so you can switch between them like that. If I scroll back down, you can see these are the permissions available for the planned activities section. There are also permissions for your own activities collection and also for the tapestry activity catalogue as well. They're all currently set up as the default on our account, but if you just want to change any of these, you just need to click on the edit button. This will bring up a pop up where you can either change the default or if you want to set up different permissions, you just need to click on that tick box and this will show you all of the staff that you have on your account. So there you can select different permissions for different staff members if you want to. And once you're done, just remember to press save. If I scroll back up to the top, I'm just going to click on the relatives tab just to show you the permissions available for them. So you just need to scroll down and here for relatives, you can see there are two sections for planned activities and also for your own activities collection. If I click on planned activities, that will then bring up all of the permissions available for it. Again, if you want to change these, you just need to click on the edit button. So that's how to enable the activities feature on Tapestry and how to change the permissions for it. Do make sure to watch the other activities videos we have that will talk you through the feature in full.